牧場を守れ逆襲の青き炎 What's up, you two? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review, this time of episode number 70, titled Protect the Farm The Blue Flame Strikes Back. Last week, we saw an episode where Sophocles stumbled across a buried Celestila while he was on a camping trip with his parents, and the kids all dug him up and protected the surrounding forest as the Celestila blasted its way off back towards the moon. In today's episode, we saw an episode focused around Kiawe and his family's farm while a, an Electivire trainer wanted to purchase it to build a resort. If you checked out this episode, let me know what your favorite part was in the comments down below and let me know if you have any different thoughts、um, than I do. So, as the episode starts, as we said, Kiawe is doing his daily chores out on his farm when, he noticed, when his sister comes in and says that Marowak is causing trouble. They go out and they see that Marowak is messing with the Tauros, just trying to train. Marowak, as we know, as we know, Marowak is just trying to get stronger. So he's messing with them, and the Tauros start kicking them back and forth, and they go all, he goes all over the place and eventually winds up just landing on the ground, where he then decides to pick a fight with Turtonator. This Marowak is just all about fighting. Now, a car pulls up to the farm. A car enters the farm and pulls up, and a very evil looking guy gets out, and he has an Electivire with him, as I said. And nobody knows where, he's, where he came from, and Kiawe runs up. That's where the intro ran. As we said, this episode is called Protect the Farm. The Blue Flame Strikes, strikes Back. So, if you don't know, you can probably already guess what's going to be happening. But Kiawe confronts the people that approach, and the guy says that I can't get anywhere talking to a kid. He's obviously trying to make some type of business decision. Well, Kiawe's parents walk up and they start talking about how, oh, I'm the president here and this is my farm, etc., etc. And this guy says that he's the president of the Rainbow Happy Resort Company and his name is Borgain. Now, I don't like to stereotype, but as it turns out, If you were to stereotype Borgain, he was exactly that. So maybe that's shout out to the animators, to the artists. You, you did a good job at portraying what this guy should be, because he definitely lived right up to it.、Um, but the mother de declines profusely. You know, Kiawe's mother, Kiawe's father, they're like, no, we're not going to sell this farm to you. What do you mean? This is our family farm. We've been doing this for years, et cetera, et cetera. We won't be selling this farm to you. And he's like, all right, fine. All right, fine. I'm gonna leave for now, but you're gonna regret that. I, or he says, I hope you don't regret it, or whatever he says. And as he turns around to his car, a bunch of mud bray had sprayed mud all over his nice fancy car. So he gets in the car and drives off, and while he's in the car, he makes a phone call and he says, Hey, let's go ahead and do what we had planned to do. So, Kiawe is walking around and he notices where all the mill tank were. They're looking down and you can see this little where the river should be and the river's all dried up. So, Kiawe runs into his parents, who his parents are on the phone. Apparently, Borgain's company had purchased the land where the river originates from and have cut off the water to the farm. He's really trying to get this purchased. So, Kiawe heads off to the school where he's very upset. He's sitting by himself. All the other kids are sitting with, you know, in a group talking to each other. He's sitting by himself and he's very angry.、Um, and he starts explaining what's going on. He explains the entire thing to the group. And Sophocles pulls up on his computer something about Borgain. And he does find out that he's been bullying people into selling their land so he can build up these resorts for his company. And Kiawe gets really emotional because the group wants to help out. So the group takes a trip off to Akala Island and off to Kiawe's farm, where they offer to help in whatever way that they can. As that turns out, it's、uh, Poplio, Poplio? Poplio、um, providing some water so everyone can clean up. They're all taking care of different chores throughout the area. As they're doing these chores, Kiawe notices a couple guys with a b u l l d o r and a rog and rolla are messing around. They, they can see sees this broken fence and they're standing behind and they're messing with the mill tank. And they actually cause the mill tank to all escape out of the fence. And he's like, what, what? Kiawe's like, what are you doing? Why are you in here? And it turns out that it's Borgain's people. Borgain is also there. And Borgain just claims that the fence just happened to be broken when they came up and it's not his fault. That all the mill tank escaped. 
Gowie's like, all right, we need to save all the mill tank and tries to get his Turtonator to go off to get them. But Borgain's Electivire steps in the way and Borgain's like, if you want my Electivire to move, you're going to have to make him move. So the battle's begun between Borgain and Kiawe, and Kiawe goes to use some teamwork to start off. He tries to get Turtonator to use Flamethrower, he tries to get Marowak to use Bone Meringue, but Marowak doesn't want to listen and goes to attack on his own, and he gets Thunder Punched. He gets Thunder Punched out of the way. And Ash starts to run up, and his little sister runs up, and the Electivire fires a Thunder straight at Kiawe's little sister. Luckily, Turtonator steps in the way. He does take the hit, he does get knocked out. Well, Marowak gets upset at this <clears throat> and charges at him using Flare Blitz, uh, but that's not going to be enough. Uh, the Electivire just knocks him out of the way, and Kiawe wants to use the Z-move, but he turns around, and Turtonator's on the ground. Turtonator can't use the Z-move, so Marowak's like, me, I can do it. And Kiawe's like, you want to use the Z-move? All right, let's try it. And Kiawe goes through all the motions of doing the Z-move, the Fire Z-move, of course, and he doubts himself, and Marowak winds up failing it, gets Thunder Punched again, and gets knocked out. Now, Ash decides, all right, I've had enough. Let's step up. And Ash starts to step up to do the battle, and all of the other kids are also coming down as well. They haven't seen where Kiawe is. They haven't seen Ash and his sister come back, so they all come to find him. And Borgain's like, all right, fine, fine, fine. That's enough for today. And he leaves. At dinner that night, the group is talking about the incident that happened that day, and the, his parents are like, you know, we'll take care of some of this stuff, and we'll, we'll get this all figured out, etc., etc. That night, as everyone's going to sleep, Marowak is outside training, and you can see him, you know, you can see him training. Kiawe walks up behind him and says, hey, the reason that that Z-move didn't fail is because I didn't believe in you. I didn't think you could do it. But I'm not, I'm not going to doubt you anymore. I'm going to believe in you. Will you believe in me? And Ash starts to walk up and Ash starts to say, you know, I'm going to train with you. But he gets stopped by Kiawe's dad. And Kiawe's dad's like, hey, let's leave this to those two. Let's leave this to Kiawe and Marowak. You just watch them for now. The next morning, Borgain shows up and the entire group is there. Everybody is standing outside just waiting for him. And as he starts to talk, Kiawe is like, no, 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 I'm going to handle this. I'm going to handle all of this. We're going to battle. If you win, then you can have the farm. If I win, you will leave our farm alone forever. And Borgain agrees to it. Now Marowak steps up. Marowak is obviously going to be the one to fight. And he goes to charge at the Electivire and he gets thunder punched, paralyzing one of his arms or one of his legs. And he's sitting on the ground and he hits his leg with his bone and knocks the electricity out. I don't know how that works, but I, I've always wanted mechanics like that to be able to work in actual Pokemon games. Like, let's just say Alolan Marowak, his bone, if, if you know, he can, he can get the paralysis out of his leg. He should have like that specific trait. Maybe not an ability, but like a trait. I don't know. This is an idea. I want to see more individualized specifics for Pokemon in games. I just think that'd be really cool. Now, Marowak does get a couple moves off. He uses his Shadow Bone and gets in and then uses Iron Head on the Electivire's leg, causing Electivire to cry a little bit. But Electivire then sets up a Rain Dance, effectively getting rid of his um, Flare Blitz and all of his moves, putting him at an even bigger disadvantage. And Kiao is like, you know what? You can put up all the rain that you want. The Well of Volcano's Flame will not go out and uses the Z-move. And Marowak fires off a very successful, very powerful, and a very big fire Z-move, knocking out the Electivire. Now, after Borgain loses, he's supposed to leave. But he's like, of course I'm not going to leave. Uh, I want this farm and he gets all of his people with the construction vehicles to they start coming through they break through the fence and right as they're about to start tearing down the farm officer Jenny runs up and officer Jenny gets out and he's like she's like you're under arrest for this 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 and that and this and that and this and that and Borgain starts to run away and then there's even more officer Jenny's that show up and so Borgain and his, his men all get arrested and they all get taken away. Now, it was very, very interesting, upsetting, however you want to say it. Ash has been 20 years with Nurse Joy, or with Officer Jenny and 
Nurse Joy. Yeah, yeah, with Officer Jenny and Nurse Joy. And Ash goes up and he's like, oh, you're using a different Pokemon today. And Officer Jenny's like, oh, you must be mistaking me for my sister in Melee Melee. And Ash is like, oh, y'all are sisters? Like, Ash, come on, man. We got it. It's 2018. We got to do better. But anyway, that was the entire episode. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. I enjoyed the episode. It was another filler episode, but we did get to see Marowak use the Fire Z move for the very first time. Now, next week, we see a Dupiter, a Dupiter, Dupiter. We see a Dupiter going around and doing all kinds of interacting with everybody. He's at the Pokemon school and all kinds of stuff. Of course, interacting with one member in specific. I don't want to give it away because honestly, the episode title was a spoiler for what's going to happen next week. But next week is not a filler episode. It actually is something story related or at least very character development related. So you'll definitely want to check that out. But that'll be it for today's episode. Again, let me know what you thought of today's episode in the comments down below. And we will see you for the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.